Hello. I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for joining in. I'm just uh, getting ready to do some work here on the Wii Baby. So I'm gonna go to Fusion 360 just in a second. I'm gonna ju just uh, save something here. Okay. Oh guys, let me know if there's something wrong with the sound. Maybe the sound is a little bit high. I can turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna go to Fusion 360. And we are going to do some work on the Wii Baby. Um, we have been discussing whether or not removing or like yeah we have a worm gear here and there's a discussion about uh, move removing the worm gear because yeah, we don't know if this is a good quality gear or not and it might affect uh, our um, C, uh, C lift in uh, terms of uh, layer binding or um, artifacts on the part we don't know but um, I've not seen too much of this myself but I wanted to test if we can run without the worm gear anyway so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna design a bracket here for an EMA 17 uh, so we can mount that directly this means that we need to lower we need to lower the bed frame after each print or else it will fall down because an EMA 17 will not hold this bed frame up by itself uh, when the power is off so if the power goes, um, if the current like uh, stops, then this bed will fall down. So we might need some bumpers of some sort here. Also, um, because we never know when there's going to be a power outage. So that also com comes into play. But anyway, let's have a look at this um, this bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this bracket. Actually, let's go to the base frame. And we what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this part in the browser. Yeah, here it is. So what I want to do now, because this is just a concept for me to test. And if it doesn't work out, I'm going to just leave it out. But I'm just going to save as and replace this worm gear bracket. So we are going, going to call it something else. Um, we are going to call it uh, uh, NEMA 17 C drive body. I'm just going to save it in my part library. Which means we can open this now. And we can do changes to it. Okay, so actually <laughs> this was an assembly. So let's go back in the timeline. Uh, so this is the motor and we are actually going to delete the motor So what I need to do is go to my, the end of my timeline. I'm, I'm gonna delete some of these parts 
So I'm gonna delete, delete this bracket. We don't need that one. And um, we need the pulley. We need the pulley, so we can leave the pulley. But I'm gonna just delete the joint. And we are going to delete the worm gear. Then we can insert an Emma 17 here. So let's find an Emma 17 in the library. 17. We are going to use this one, 40 millimeter NEMA 17. Okay. Things are a little bit upside down here. Um, that's okay. I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna insert it one more time. And I'm going to turn it around so it's like facing the right way. Like this. And then I'm going to ground this NEMA so it doesn't move anywhere. Then we can, um, we can put the pulley on, so join the pulley. On to here. Let's do the top pair to the NEMA axle, something like that. And then we can join. Yeah, okay. Let's also rearrange parts in our timeline. I'm going to move the pulley in my timeline. So it's after the motor. And also gonna move the bracket so it's come to the end. Now we can join the bracket to the NEMA. Something like this. We are going to do changes to the NEMA, to the bracket, of course. This does not look right, so let's go to the bracket. I'm also going to save us and replace this. It's going to be a NEMA 17. See lift body. Yeah, so that's um, we can uh, fill with the names later. Anyway, okay. Now let's open the bracket. So here we can see we have a long timeline. So let's go all the way back and have a look at um, the drawing, the sketch rather. Let's move a little bit forward in the timeline just to figure out what's going on. So this actually sits like this. Just going to all the steps just to figure out what what I have done before. But 
we can delete all uh, the inserts the inserted components we can delete those because we are going to change them so what I need what I want is uh, this part I still want this part let's figure out which drawing this is probably back here We can have a look at the sketches. Okay. So actually, it's this sketch. No, it's not. Let's go back and see. So here we have the sketch. Okay, I think I understand now what's going on. So we need to figure out this hole. So we have the hole here. So this uh, dimension is, is uh, important, so I need to keep that one, but I'm going to do some changes to this drawing. So I'm going to make this 42, because uh, the size of the NEMA is 42. This one is going to be uh, something else. I'm not sure. I don't remember right now, but let's make it smaller anyway. Um, let's make it 30. Just we're going to change it, but uh, we need to make this 142 as well. So it fits the NEMA. And I have a look at the, um, how the hole sits. Okay, so we're at 21. What we can do is. Um, to activate. Hello Lars, hello Kyle. So I'm doing some changes to my um, yeah, to, to the lift uh, of the my, my C drive, my C axis on the Wii Baby. I'm gonna try to use a NEMA 17 uh, directly onto the belt, uh, no gear, and see how that works. We, uh, we of course need to take into account that the bed will fall down uh, when uh, not powered, so that's something we're gonna look at later. So, Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show dimensions here. And I'm going to move forward in my timeline. We can have a look at the frame. So this is how it looks now. So while I'm working on this part. So I want to keep uh, the one that's blue here now, I want to keep that one. I'm going to change this guy. Uh, 
Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you mean, uh, Kyle, about uh, issues? Yes, there will be issues. <laughs> I know there will be issues, but. Um... <laughs> okay, so so you have some issues here as well. <laughs> These holes are not supposed to be here. I'm going to remove those holes. Um, resolution. Well, resolution is going to be uh, 160 steps per millimeter. And that's double of what we have on the X, Y. So I don't, I'm not sure that uh, it is too small. Uh, for FDM printing, it will, it will be enough, I think. But we can make some calculations for that later. Remove this chamfer. Um, what I want to do now, I, I want to insert a motor here. So it's easier to, to see what's going on. This is not good for us because if you have a look here, the holes for the NEMA does not add up. They are kind of like inside this part, so that's a problem. Uh, on your Discord, you have been testing belted C with great success. So, so what's the success, uh, Kyle? Might be spelling that wrong. <laughs> I need to do something here so that we can get into the NEMA. We could, of course. Um, Let's see, let's make some holes. They need to be um, seven, I think, is enough. Yeah, that should work pretty good. Then we can get inside to the motor. Yeah, but belt tension I I have sold, so that's okay, Kyle. Um, 
But how did you solve the the C C drive? Four to one drive. Oh, so you using? Uh, <laughs> I think I have it here. Yes, I think I have that here. Let me show you. So I have this, this gear, and uh, this belt. So of course, we can use this. That's uh, a very good idea. Is that what you mean, Kyle? Using a 20 and a 60, no, 80 gear, uh, GT2 gears, or do you use a 16 pulley, 16 tooth pulley, or a 20 tooth pulley? I guess it's 20 to 80, yeah. That's a very good idea. That's actually very smart. Thanks, <laughs> thank you for reminding me. I totally forgot I had those laying around. Actually, I have like five of them, I think. In case I would like to go uh, triple C drive, I ordered more. Here's the pulley as well. <laughs> I had them right <laughs> on my desk here. Yeah. Okay, let's go for that. Um, that would be a little bit more complex. I'm not sure I will be able to do that live actually. That bed doesn't drop now. Uh, I guess you can. Um, but you can push like the uh, the bed down by hand, I guess. But that's okay, as long as it doesn't like fall to the bottom. What happens if you have like a five kilo uh, print <laughs> on 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 there on the bed? Yeah, okay. I have to look into that the four to one uh, stuff uh, later because it's going to take too much time for this live uh, stream. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. And then I will get back to the gear, the version later. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so there's an issue here. So I need to make this shorter. I guess we still can access the... Um, but anyway, <laughs> we're probably gonna do the 4 to 1 gearing. So... Yeah. then this this issue we have here will not be a problem because then uh, the big gear is going to sit here somehow so what we can do is actually draw the gear let's do the gear here um i, I I only have the 60 tooth uh, gear here now. I don't have the 80 tooth. So let's do the 60. G, G, T. Let's do G, T, 2, 60, T. Let's figure out how big this gear is. It's like uh, 30, almost 38. It's not, not so important at this point. We need, just need a dummy. metal Something like this, just to have something there. Of course, also, I guess this is eight millimeter um, internal. No, actually it's five. Something like that. And um, of course we need a bearing here. Um, and some kind of support to carry this uh, this gear um, let's just place it onto the bracket maybe a little bit outside okay so th uh, this gives me a problem uh, not a, not like a big problem but um, let me take a look in the chat now. Mm. 
that's nice Lars uh, it will be interesting to, to see uh, your uh, C drive with the tree lift oh thanks for the discord Uh, we are not not talking about the war on uh, Rene. We are just talking about belted C drives <laughs> in general. This is for the Wii baby. Uh, we already have a belted C drive, but we are using a worm gear, and we are talking about uh, changing to a non worm gear <laughs> solution. So I was actually planning to just go directly with the NEMA 17 directly onto here but uh, Kyle says that we need gearing so so I have these gears the GT2 gears this is a 60 tooth so it will only be tr like 3 to 1 but anyway we, we can test that but what I see here now if we do go with the 60 tooth um, it is uh, too close to the frame uh, which means I need to move everything to the left here I don't know what happened with my part it got suddenly got uh, like this so this uh, pink part is like uh, it needs to be like what it is because it sits here if it's right onto uh, the frame as it is so I would like to keep this and then I would have to move this guy over here somewhere Let's go like here. If you are going 80 tooth, um, then of course, yeah, we need to be around here. And for that to work, I also need to change some other parts because it's very important that the belt goes straight up it, it cannot be in uh, an angle which means i also need to change this part this pulley must be further out or to the left in this position it needs to be uh, like 10 millimeter more to the left but that's okay that's easy to, to fix uh, but it also <laughs> influences the carrier because the carrier <laughs> I can show you I can show you we can move the carrier back let me have a look Okay. Um, because we are utilizing the whole frame to be able to print 250 by 250 or 300 by 300 uh, whatever size you have we are uh, about here I think some yeah we are about here uh, in the rear position uh, is if this goes further outside then we will lose some uh, Y distance which I'm not sure I like 
We could, of course, lower this a little bit. Uh, it depends on how much we can lower it. Because of the bed. We, we do have some space here. Yeah, we can actually lower it a little bit. So that will work out. That's not a big problem I can see now. Let's have a look in the chat again. Add a slope. I'm not sure what you mean, Lars, by a slope to the end yeah let me see if I can open the discord attachment no I cannot open the discord attachment Let me try one more time. I think there was something wrong with my link. No. Access denied, this is. <laughs> yeah. Um, Moto says his worm gear wor works great. Actually, my worm gear wor wor also works great. But every um, like, it would be nicer to have like, uh, to have a better uh, gearing than the worm gear, gear because there might be some backlash in the worm gear and it might not be as good as if we made some other type of gear. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. So I would like to like just test it and see if I see any difference and how it works and whatnot. So it's not like, hey, we need to get rid of the worm gear because it does work. And I don't see any big problems on my uh, parts when printing. I think uh, I don't have like, a layer binding or, or anything, but um, yeah, whatever. So and I'm not sure how long my belts are. Uh, I think they are 200. Because we need to figure that out uh, before we design this thing. I also need to have some bearings and some support share and whatnot. What should we use as an axle for this gear? That's also an issue. If we now move this guy, we can move that one to the side. We can do 10 minus 100, something like this. That's probably too much though. Thank you, Moto Thailand. <laughs> He says that uh, his wee baby is the best uh, printer for quality. That's nice to hear. I'm happy myself. I did do this war on cube. Do you see my screen now? Yeah. So I did this war, war on cube and it came out uh, great. This is with the new extruder as well. The lightweight extruder, which I'm going to use as a direct drive. And I will mount it. I, I did some tests here on YouTube now with the new extruder in uh, Bowden mode, but it's supposed to be direct drive. So I'm gonna, I have some parts now, so I'm gonna change my X carrier so I can test it as a direct drive. It should also improve uh, print quality somewhat. They say, I don't know, because I never went direct drive. <laughs> But anyway, how do we figure out the, um, the distance? What is the distance 
from center here to center pulley? Does anyone know? I'm sure it says somewhere on the internet. And of course I can like measure to get an understanding of like approximate center distance. It's like, um, it looks like 50. No, it's a little bit more. 55. Oh, it's more it's more like 60 yeah let's do 60 should be about here we can also bring in a pulley just to have a look Um, I'm gonna change my screen again. Half of the circumference, oh yeah, both, uh, okay. Actually, I don't know uh, this dimension on the big gear. But we can figure that out. I'm sure there's uh, somewhere on the internet. Let's add this pulley. Like this. Oh, it's like inside the motor. <laughs> That's not good. Something like that. I'm not sure uh, how long my belt is uh, as regards to, you know, the, the center distancer. Yes, I will take a look at my master car and see if I can find it. Oh, now I understand Lars. <laughs> yes, but anyway, now uh, we are going to mount the motor over here. So we are not using uh, the holes I had before. We are going to do this differently now. So let's measure the distance from here to here. It's like 60. Which means we can go something like this. Yeah. Something like this should work. Flip the door and drive gear. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, this gear. Yes, of course, I, I could flip it. That's smart, Lars. Thank you. 
it's nice to have smart people around here. Um, like that. That should do it. This, this is just detailing anyway, um, like that. Just a guy, <laughs> hello. Yeah, the, the grub screw, yes. The, um, I was aware of that. We also could uh, do an opening here. We, uh, we actually have, we have to do an opening here. So let's do that right now okay um i do not want to use i'm going to remove the motor later so no i don't have to do that let's leave the motor in like this we need to open it a little bit more okay starting to look like something hello Wagner oh you're still you're also working on the wee baby that's nice I know there's a lot of Vikings out there. There's like, I don't know how many hundreds, but uh, it's nice to see more, more and more people are also working on the Wii Baby. I'm also working on a linear, um, a guided Wii Baby or like a conversion for MGN guides for those interested in that. We need to move this hole. So we need to move that a 10 millimeter in. We also need to make it smaller. Of course, there's, it, it needs to be a bearing here. Um, maybe a 16 bearing. That's not enough. Oh yes, of course. This was weird. There we go. Um, I think I need to get rid of this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can uh, fiddle around with that one later. It's not important at this point. Uh, let's insert a bearing here as well. Uh, need to find some bearings. Thank you. 
I think I have it in the weaking. 5 by 16 by 5. Yeah, 625 I'm just going to close this a little bit like this okay we are getting somewhere so actually what I can do now is I uh, I can print this guy and uh, just have a look and see uh, I probably should figure out the the center distance first what do you mean Kyle by I need to have two halves Oh, yes, um, something to support this guy. Yes, I know, I know I need that. So it doesn't get, get uh, can't delivered. I understand, uh, I understand that. Uh, what we could do is we, we could print it like this. And then we can have, let's do that. Let's change this one. Like this. I'm not going to go too detailed right now. We're just going to like have a prototype. So let's make a support here for for the big gear. It's not pretty right now, but that's not so important. Yeah. 
There's, then there's another bearing here. Of course, I'm gonna have a look in the chat. I know you are asking questions right now. I just need to fi finish this. something like this. Of course, this does not have to be as long. does not need to be as high. So 30 maybe? That's not enough. Yeah, something like this, a little bit higher. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so what we can do now if, is that we can actually print this thing and just test it. Uh, just to verify first the, the distance. Did anyone find out the distance? between the gears <laughs> let me have a look in in the chat i'm sure i missed something um there's a question about tensioning the closed belt i uh, what we could do is that we can uh, we can make a slot for the motor so the motor can move sideways what do you think about that? Do you understand what I mean? So the motor can like move this way. What printer do you have, Dutch dude? <laughs> Thanks, Benny. Function before <laughs> looks. <laughs> okay. Um, did anyone figure out? Um, the center distance <laughs> for these gears. Actually, let's let's open these holes up so we can move, so we can tension the belt. I'm gonna make a slot here. Center point slot. Do it 
five. Something like this. Then we can do um, pattern. I don't know if this is enough to tension the belt. We just have to try and figure it out. I don't like this edge. <laughs> it bothers me. Okay. Let's see how that's uh, how this looks now inside the printer. Let's get rid of this one. Okay. So ha let's have a look um, inside the printer. It lost its, it's a reference, but that's okay. We'll figure that out. There we go. Like this. We lost. We lost something here. I'm not sure what you mean, Moto Thailand, uh, why we need to move the motor. Well, it's like this. There is no tensioning on... Let me show you. So, th there is no tensioning here now. So, if we want tension, the motor is over here. on uh, your left, I think, <laughs> my right hand. So if you have a slot, then we can move the motor to tension the belt because the big gear is fixed. So we need to move the motor or else we need a, like an idler or something. But the easiest way is just to slot uh, these holes so we can move the motor to tension the belt. Is that a sound solution, guys? Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, just a guy. Don't for you say don't forget the 80 tooth police hub. Not sure what you mean with uh, the hub. The hub. Oh, yes, the hub. Thank you. I didn't see that. Of course. Very smart. That's like six more millimeter. Actually, we need to. Uh, Redesign our pulley. There's a hub here. I'm glad you guys are here. <laughs> it saves me for a lot of prototyping uh, wrongly. Something like this. This means we pro probably have some conflicts here. Yes, <laughs> we do, we do, we do. Thank you for that. That's uh, we need to change something here. Forgot to do something here. Fourteen. Yeah, let's just move this guy. Oh, thank you, Ben. Of course, we need to <laughs> we need to make this hole um, bigger. We could actually just like make it something like this, so we can move sideways. 
it's not so important at this point but uh, that's something i totally forgot oh now we are like outside here so let's um, get rid of that one This is kind of strange, but let me. Yeah. We can yeah just fix this also. Something like that. The problem now that um, I don't want any supports, so I need to do something with these guys. But anyway, let's do that later. So now we have uh, space here, uh, probably too much now. <laughs> yeah, let me uh, detail that later. We don't need to be uh, nasty on the detailing right now. We just need to figure out the center distance. That's important now. The center distance between these, these two gears. We are um, at 50 millimeter. And I need to figure out what my what it should be. Uh, and I'm not sure how long my belts are, but we are going to find that out because I have that in my account by my orders in my order list. It should be possible to find these belts. A lot of parts coming in from China all the time. <laughs> I wonder how many, how much money I spent on AliExpress. Probably don't want to know that. So here we go. It's probably these. It says 200 millimeters. Should be possible to measure. I guess 200 is like the total. Tooth count times two. <laughs> I don't want to tell. Yeah, it's uh, it seems to be 100. So that means the belt is 200. Maybe it says actually on the belt. Yes, it says on the belt is 200. Um, Yes, it's it's a prototype for a C drive without the worm gear. Uh, this will be a three to one in gearing because my big gear is sixty tooth, not eighty. So I have a bunch of sixty tooth here, or maybe this is eighty. No, this is also sixty. Uh, more gears. So we have to t uh, try 3 to 1 and uh, maybe we can go to f uh, 4 to 1 or f even 5 to 1. If we go 60 tooth pulley, then we have 5 to 1 with 16 and 80. Uh, there, there's someone to talking about tooth count times 2 for the center dis distance. Thanks uh, for uh, the feedback on, on my last video. I'm going to mount the new extruder direct dry now, uh, one of these days. And then do some more testing and then I will release the files and whatnot. So let's have a look at my parts. Maybe it says here somewhere. No, it doesn't say, say, but of course we can draw it up. So let's do that. What we could do. Let's 
Let's make a belt. I should probably know this because I'm an engineer, but uh, not able to do that right now. So this is like 12. And the problem, I'm not sure about the diameter on this guy. Um, we have 60 tooth. Does anyone know uh, the um, the diameter for the sixty tooth gear? I can figure that out later. Let's just test something. If we go now, let's open the sketch again. If we go from. this gear to this gear like that and then we can um, cut out something Then we should be able to see how long this stretch is. It does not want to measure the length So let's uh, do some calculations. So it's 48. And then we need this guy. Which is um, 15.7. And then the big one. Not sure if this is going to be right. I like uh, 69.7. And that adds up in 182. So. Uh, we should probably be further away. 
Um, I need to figure this out. We don't have to use time on that now. So I have to detail this stuff and figure out the center distance and then uh, prototype this thing. Then I can get back to you guys. But um, yeah, I think that's it for now. We've been on for quite a while now. So uh, it's been nice having you guys here and uh, helping out. So I, can, I did save some time because of you guys now. That's very good. And I'll, I'll look into the center distance and, and whatnot, uh, and also the the size of the the diameter of the of the big gear. So um, just answer some questions before I leave. Yes, Fusion has an option to select tangency, yes. I can show you. Here you can see tangent constraint. And um, what you do is you take a, a line, you can take it here. And if you draw it like outside like this, you can hold down shift. If you hold down shift, you get the tangent see, uh, right away. If you don't do that, you can like just click it somewhere and then go tangent constraint and the line and the arc, and then you are tangent. Easy peasy. Okay, guys. Um, Thank you, Lars and uh, Ben and uh, Kyle and uh, Moto, and I, I don't want to leave anyone out. <laughs> nice to see you here on a on a Sunday, is it? Yeah, Sunday today. Okay, guys. Uh, happy melting, and I see you guys soon.